The greater the gossip, the weaker the spiritual maturity. There are many busybodies within the church. Many people want the latest uh, information upon people, upon events, upon organizations, within jobs. Some people just live and thrive off of gossip, and they can't live a single day without either gossiping or listening to gossip. And it takes strong spiritual maturity to say, no, we shouldn't be talking about this person in this way. Now, obviously, there is a difference in, in, in an understanding of knowing something that is going on and seeking counsel from maybe mentors and saying, hey, this has happened repeatedly. I've gone to this brother uh, uh, multiple times before. There's no change. What do you think I should do here? That That's okay. But gossip is, is bringing forth slandering. It's ruining people's reputation. It's speaking badly and revealing all the bad about them and never speaking good. It's, it's, it's thriving off of the weaknesses, the failures, and the faults of others and it's it's trying to take care of the speck in their own eye, not even take care of it, but speak about the speck uh, in their own in their in their brother's eye while neglecting the log that is in their eye. And we need to just be discerning with this because the more people thrive on gossip, gossip is not of the spirit of God. We know that the Holy Spirit is not going around gossiping and saying, "Oh my goodness, did you hear what this person did?" Now, can he bring a strong word? Uh, in to certain um, uh, you know prophets and certain people by which the Holy Spirit wants to speak to that person directly um, to the point where our friend or the person we are speaking to uh, has never told us anything about that struggle and then all of a sudden we say, hey God is warning you to leave blank so to where that person can just give glory to God and be like, God, I know this is from you. I repent to dust and ashes is Job. That does happen, but the Holy Spirit is not going around with a gossiping spirit trying to be a busybody. He is not a gossiper. He is a convictor. And there's a difference between gossip and conviction through our words. Gossip is going around to other people about someone and ruining their reputation. Conviction is when we are going to the actual person saying, hey, this is what the Word of God says. This is how you're living there's a disconnect here. I want to bring this to you. I've gone to the Lord in prayer and I know that I love you. I'm going to walk beside you, but this needs to stop in your life. And then that person has the libertarian free will to choose to accept the message that has come from God and what has been revealed by God's word or become too prideful, boastful, hardened, and arrogant and neglect it and ultimately suffer the consequences for it. So uh, may we just understand that the more gossip there is, someone reveals uh, directly their spiritual maturity. Because the more gossip people do, they're not busy about the things of the Lord, they're busy bodies. They're not concerned about the will and call God has for their life. They're worried about what other people are doing wrongly and inaccurately. And the more time people spend monitoring other people's lives, the less profitability and productivity for the kingdom of God is happening within their own life. And that right there is a utilization of time that is not done in a proper way. It is wasting time because the more we're focused about other people and not trying to help them, but ruin their reputation and speak wrongly, the less we're, we're using our time for God. And ultimately that's going to be revealed on the final day. And we're going to be seen for exactly what we were based upon what we did with the time that was given us. May we not be gossipers. May we not hang out with gossipers. And if anyone is gossiping, may we have the spiritual maturity to say, uh, you know what, if you have a problem with this person, you should go directly to them. Or, uh, you know, you're speaking wrongly about this person uh, and badly each and every time. Uh, I don't want to hear any more of this. This is gossip. We need to start using the words of specific sins so people can understand their, their wrong ways, repent of them, and change from them. Because gossip never did any good. It only brings forth destruction and damage.